How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to give you the best tips, tricks and pro features of the iPad 7th generation. Even though this is the entry level iPad, as you know, is the cheapest new iPad you can buy right now, but you can do so, so much with this device right here. And with those pro tips, I'm going to show you how you can be extremely productive and turn this into as much as a computer as you can considering its price point. You can do a lot with this, you're gonna be impressed. So let's begin. So the first thing I wanna talk about is the home button. As you know, only the newest and the latest iPad Pros don't have a home button. Uh, they are pretty much gesture based and they have face ID. But with the new iPad 7th generation, you have access to all those awesome gestures. So I pretty much just use my home button as touch ID to unlock my device. For example, if I'm here in Safari, uh, I just have to swipe up and then I go back to home instead of pressing the home button. Again, if I'm here within any app, I just have to swipe halfway and let go and I have access to my app switcher so I can see all of my multitasking and all of my applications so I don't have to double press on the home button. That's another very cool thing. And there's another awesome multitasking gesture that not everyone knows. So if you're here within uh, Safari, for example, you don't actually need to go and swipe up and see the apps and everything or anything like that. You can, sw you can switch and, and go backwards and forwards by pretty much swiping up and do a half circle as you guys can see here swipe and half circle and then you can go back to those apps as well of course uh, sometimes it won't work because I'm not here really in front of the device I'm kind of <laughs> angled so but you got the idea so you can switch between apps same story, you don't need to have an iPad Pro to take advantage of all those awesome gestures. So again, I just use my Touch ID to unlock my device and to use Siri, pretty much. Another awesome feature that the iPad 7th generation has is full mouse support. So of course you can go ahead, you can look at the cursor right here, it is very small and that's in purpose. Uh, so then you can move the cursor around. Uh, as you guys can see, it selects the apps perfectly. You can use all the different buttons to, for example, go ahead here and click on something go back to your home click on something again uh, pull up your dock you can do so many awesome things with this with the mouse support of course I'm going to talk about the dock in a second uh, but if you want to see a full video on how to set up your mouse and how to set up set up all those commands and how to properly use your mouse with your iPad go ahead and have a look at the video I'm gonna put right here on this card and also on the first link in the description it's gonna teach you everything you need to know regarding mouse support in iPad Another awesome thing that I love about the new iPad 7th generation is of course the smart connector that you're seeing right here at the bottom, right there. That's the smart connector. So it allows you to use a ton of accessories on your iPad, like this dock that I'm using, for example, that as you guys can see, it is uh, not only connecting, but you can also use it to charge. I'm not charging at the moment, but there's a port right here in the back so right here in the back of this uh, dock, there's a port which I can connect my, my power outlet and then it's gonna charge my iPad using the smart connector right here and of course connecting to the bottom of the device. Also, it attaches magnetically as you guys just heard and just saw. So it just attaches magnetically, which I absolutely love. And of course you can use this for many, many different accessories like Apple's own uh, smart case, you, which you can use it with a, a, a keyboard and now with a trackpad as well. This is amazing. So having this uh, open so many ports literally open so many ports for the iPad and having this on the basic on the entry level iPad is just amazing. So I was just talking about the dock and even though the dock is not extremely new on the iPad but still uh, the dock is one of the best features that Apple has introduced into the iPad in ages because of course you can go ahead and swipe up just a bit and have access to your favorite apps and the most recent ones right here so easy so of course you don't have to every single time you're within an app go ahead and go back home take a look at the app you want to use and then click tap on that application you can of course be on an application just swipe up just a bit and then select that app that you want to interact with and of course uh, you can uh, rearrange everything here you can edit you can for example go ahead grab an application uh, and then uh, edit home and then sorry about that and then move it right here for example if you want to and it's going to be fixed 
in those positions and of course you can also rearrange that and of course th that first section is going to be fixed in place and those two are the ones that are going to be always constantly changing depending if you are using the app or not those are the recent ones so i really really love to use the dock in ipad and of course it works brilliantly in the ipad 7th generation now let's talk about multitasking real multitasking and this is one of the best and most important things if you want to get productive using your ipad so for example you're here in safari but let's say you want to listen to music you're always listening to music and uh it's just a hassle having to like go to your app switcher look for your music and then go, like look for it where is it or something like that or then go here and click no what you can actually do is just for example have one app here for example apple.com okay you're you're browsing the web and then you can get your your dock so swipe up just a bit and then of course tap and hold and then put it right here and then you're gonna have this flyover of an application and then you can see for example your music you can just go ahead uh, hide it very easy is now out of sight go back to it hide it again or if you want to have it always on display you can of course grab that top grabber right here and then make it full screen always there and of course again you can rearrange those two applications so you can have like uh, this different split right here which one is a little bit bigger and most important and the other is a little bit smaller so this is very very good and it's a very very nice way which you can of course be much more productive with your ipad and if you want to see more in-depth information about multitasking so how to do all of those commands i showed you uh, more in depth and even more of this not only that that I showed you, but even more, again, I'm gonna have another video right here at this a card and in the description so you can have a better look at multitasking in your iPad. And speaking about productivity, uh, how about having multiple windows in your Safari or many, many different apps? So we all know that we can have different tabs. So I have one tab here, one tab here, and then I can click on whatever here. And then uh, I, I'm gonna have two, uh, websites at the same time but these those are tabs that's one thing but how about having different windows you can do that with your iPad so you can just grab your dock right here and then tap on that very same app that you are in so we are in Safari right so you can just uh, swipe up to the dock and tap in Safari again and as you guys can see I have two different windows this window right here the one we, we are looking at so with two tabs and another one right here I can let it go I have just one I can tap on the plus icon and then I have two again or I can have three for example and then so on and so forth so I can have different windows not only different tabs so i can have one for one activity one for the other the one for the other so we can get much more organized like that and a lot of different apps support this not only safari you can do that with notes and many many different apps i just love this implementation now let's go back to safari once again because i'm going to talk about downloads as you probably know maybe you don't but as you probably know you can now finally download stuff from the internet and when I say stuff is really pretty much anything you can download videos music files software any kind of thing that you want you that you can download on a computer you can download with your iPad this is super super cool so for example right here I mean the YouTube audio library for creators and of course this is all content free so it's pretty much just music for creators okay Again, just an example showing you that you can download anything. And here I have a ton of songs and just the download, download button. So this is pretty much the same screen I would see if I open this in my MacBook. So if I tap on the download button right here, uh, just wait a few seconds while it loads. And as you guys can see, it is asking me if I want to download a song, this song that I just showed you so i hit download and then you're gonna have a download manager sorry about that i'm gonna have a download manager right here showing the file the size and everything else and then i just have to tap on the search icon and it's gonna take me straight to my download folder inside the files app and i'm gonna talk about the file app right next okay up next so i'm gonna go to the download uh, folder and then there it is birth therapist downloaded today so as you guys can see you can just download anything from the internet uh, on this download folder of mine i have videos i have uh, applications i have everything absolutely everything word files whatever and then i can just download pretty much anything that i want straight from the internet 
This is super, super cool. And the last thing I want to talk about, of course, is the Files app itself. So right here, uh, and this is how the Files app looks, uh, looks like this is the icon. So this is the files app right here. And then of course it is much, much more powerful than it used to be. It is a true file manager. You can see uh, all your files, all your folders. You can rearrange, uh, you can see the way you wanna look at them. You can rearrange by type, size, whatever. You can create a new folder. Of course you can do so, so much with the files app. So um, I can just manage all of my folders Everything that I put here is gonna be in the iCloud drive so then I can access from my Mac as well if I want to or from my iPhone. So having a full, full-fledged um, file manager here on my iPad is extremely, extremely useful because without this, you pretty much can't use this as your daily driver. You just can't. But with this full, uh, uh, a file manager you can see you can tap on a, a folder you can tap on another folder for example and here i'm on daniel baltac so i have a ton of files videos images icons everything from the company from the channel everything and i can just uh, tap on anything i want and then it's going to load all that information as you guys can see videos and everything so everything is so well organized and then i have access to anything that i want of course i can see stuff that is only on my ipad i have nothing at the moment i can see stuff that is in the drive i can see of course uh, my downloads which is the folder we were looking just a second ago uh, and of course i can separate my tags and everything that you want this is pretty much like Finder or Windows Explorer uh, on your computer. It does pretty much the same things that you want. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it. That's pretty much what I wanted to show you. Uh, you can see that sometimes I use the home button even though I said I didn't, but uh, it's just a force of habit, right? So uh, if you like this video, if you like this, please make sure to hit the comment box below and let me know what are your favorite features if you are using your iPad as a computer or not. If you already knew all of this or you didn't, let me know. I always love to see your comments and also love to reply to them. I try to reply to absolutely everybody as much as I can, okay? So that's pretty much it, and I'll see you guys in a couple days. Bye-bye.